My name is Mark Kirby and I'm the uh, Head of Hospitality for the Emo Hospitality Group. And I'm here this afternoon at uh, the Palace Downtown, which is one of our branded hotels within the portfolio. It's really uh, a very much a rural arabesque hotel. Um, it's uh, an urban, uh, it's an urban hotel and it's um, very much palatial in its style. So the hotel has been running for eight years. Uh, it's really um, become a very uh, significant uh, hotel within the region. Um, it's very much loved uh, by uh, the GCC uh, and people coming in from Europe who just want to get that sort of arabesque uh, feeling hotel and feeling like they're part of the culture um, here in the, in the Arabian Gulf. Um, and I really do think that um, the hotel offers sort of a little bit for everybody. Um, you, you, as I said, you get that feeling of being um, very much in the authentic cultural elements of, uh, of um, Dubai, um, but then also has all the excitement around it as well. And the hotel you know, really has looked after uh, many people, well, not only people who are celebrities, but also people who are, are coming through and wanting some very special occasion whilst here uh, in Dubai. This hotel has been very rich in, in terms of uh, famous people coming through uh, this hotel. We were very, very fortunate and privileged actually uh, at the end of last year to be able to host the, the Delhi Capitals as part of the IPL um, series here in Dubai. Um, they actually took over the whole hotel, uh, which was really, uh, really good fun for us uh, because we were able to showcase this hotel immediately after a, a, a pretty solid refurbishment. Uh, we've also had um, Shara Khan here at the hotel, Will Smith and his family, to name a few. Um, so it really is a, it's a hotel that attracts, I think it attracts people because of, um, because of its home away from home feeling and this arabesque uh, mystery and magicalness about this hotel. Uh, and, uh, you know, some celebrity weddings, we've done some Bollywood events in the hotel. Um, if you only will look and walk around the hotel, you can see how magical it is for those really special uh, special events. Um, we've got an incredible poolside uh, that looks over the Burj Khalifa and the Dubai Fountain itself as well. So really it is to host um, some of these celebrity events is something very magical here. Um, one particular story was um, obviously Shara Khan was here and he was uh, working um, with the Dubai government to welcome people into Dubai. Um, he actually, uh, the backdrop of one of those uh, filmings was actually on the viewing deck um, overlooking that uh, magnificent Dubai fountain and there was a couple here um, uh, celebrating their wedding anniversary and he went up and, and surprised them. So, you know, to have this hotel as part of that um, welcoming series was, was really very special. Um, but one story that came to mind was when a guest left a premium watch actually in, in their room. Um, they'd called up uh, from the airport, they were just boarding a flight, they realized they'd left this watch behind. Um, and they called directly to the concierge and the concierge went about to reassure that they'd found the watch, number one. Um, and then they actually con uh, continued to touch base with the guest um, by email, by message. Um, and then they actually had that watch sent back um, actually to the States. So the watch went uh, very safely back to the States. But just that real care and communication is what all our team are about. They really do put themselves in the, in the shoes of the guests. Uh, there was one particular occasion where a guest was celebrating their 40th birthday. Their husband had wanted to surprise the, the, the lady, it was her, his wife. Um, and they wanted to really have something very unique. They were away from their family. Um, they couldn't be with their family. So we ended up um, uh, booking the suite here, our Royal Suite. Uh, that it is really magnificent because it looks over uh, the Dubai Fountain. But what we did was we did a very special dinner on the suite. Um, so you, that's pretty normal in a hotel. but. They wanted to have messages sent from home. So what we did is, because we're very fortunate that we have a number of hotels and we have a number of an ecosystem around EMR, we actually managed to um, open up uh, one of the cinemas, real cinemas, um, in order for the for the uh, lady to be able to go and uh, and actually have all the messages coming through from the UK. Um, put up on the screen and, and a video transition in the real cinemas. So we actually opened up real cinemas just for the two of them to have. Uh, we delivered them popcorn. Uh, we then went and opened up uh, the Burj Khalifa, uh, 154th floor, to be able to go and have uh, sunset drinks upstairs as well. At the end of the birthday, which was obviously quite busy, uh, we were we got a lot of great feedback from the guests, and we we actually made her cry. And I think it was cry. It was more of a cry of joy more than rather than a cry of uh, being upset. Um, so really, really emotional stories for people who uh, celebrate very special occasions. Um, really looking forward to welcoming you uh, to this beautiful property uh, that is really in the, it's really the heart of downtown. 
uh, with such uh, amazing uh, views, uh, whichever way you're looking within the hotel. But the team are here and dedicated to welcome you.